this video, these videos. Um, in my previous videos, you probably noticed if you watched the previous videos, I was really making eye contact with the camera, with the video camera. Um, so it's because I was using the webcam on my iMac, okay, to record that the video. And uh, my Mac is tall. The webcam is at the top of the screen. So when I uh, would look in the webcam, I would have to tilt my head up. And uh, it would be tiring for me to do that for like a 20 minute video. And most of my videos are over 10 minutes long. And um, I don't really uh, take breaks. When I shoot the video, I shoot it all the way through usually. Um, you may see a transition um, somewhere in the video where like two parts of the video come together. But um, that's usually because QuickTime would freeze. That's the program that I was using to uh, make the video with. So it would freeze. And like I could still click on the buttons. But and I could still like save the video, thankfully, but like the, um, they would just freeze, so I'd have to save that and start over. So that's why you see that transition usually. Um, but um, let's see here. So um, it wasn't really, uh, in my opinion, it wasn't fully about me being disrespectful and not like making eye contact or something. It was just because um. It would just be tiring, you know. So uh, now I've got a different setup going on. On the left of me, you can't see it, of course. But there's the iMac. I had this script on the screen. Okay, and, uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, using this uh, mic here, obviously. Blue Yeti Blackout Edition. Not a sponsor video. And, uh, I guess I don't need to say all this, but whatever. I got the headphones and uh, I've got a ring light going on. Um, that's what the lighting's coming from, and the ring light is uh, also a tripod and it's holding my cell phone. So I'm recording the video with the cell phone. Yeah, so it's too bad that you can see that ring light in my glasses, but um, the glasses kind of help me. Um, read the script better on the iMac. So, I'm uh, in bad trouble here. Let's see, um, but um, yeah, this uh, should be better because it's a lot more, a lot easier for me to make eye contact and with this, being like, with this setup here. So yeah, again, I'm looking into my cell phone here, recording the video. Okay, um, today I was busy writing the script that I'm reading from now for this video. I took a big break from that and uh, ran down to the nearest gas station and uh, bought some milk. So this does get a bit more useful. This or exciting. This uh, or at least more useful. I think the story. Don't worry. It's not just about me buying milk, but I think it's a good uh, good to take a break from editing and then come back to it and then look at it with uh, fresh eyes. I learned that from instructor from an instructor I had in, in university um, who taught me creative writing. Also, I learned that like uh, you don't want to destroy what you've created, kind of thing, when you're writing and editing, because what you created is precious to you. It's uh, a lot of hard work went into it, and um, I don't know if it seems weird with my, my hands being this way. I see what I'm. I'm not trying to uh, put my hands on the table. Like I guess the mic is very sensitive right now. I had the gain turned all the way up. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I didn't mean to give you the finger there. So that's like something makes it very sensitive. So I picked up the sound of me chewing the gum really well. Um. Yeah. So if I put my hands on the table, it'll go boom, boom. Like even if I lightly put them on the table, and it'll sound bad for the ASMR video. It won't be relaxing, I think. So, gotta keep my hands up here, but that's good because it might be good because, um, yeah, 
tell in my previous videos, I wasn't really using my hands. I'm not speaking, you know, it's mostly just like a talking head video. And uh, using your hands, I think it helps you communicate. They say that isn't it something like 80% of body of communication is through body language? Is that what they say? I forgot. Something like that, though. Pretty high percentage. Oh, so I'm trailing off here, though. Um, I think uh, if you get into the mode of, I just want to get this fucking thing done, it's usually bad news. Okay? You'll probably end up overlooking some mistakes and create a product that is not too great. But if you take a break uh, from it and then come back to it, then you can look at the paper a uh, different way. Uh, you'll be in editing mode, not creating mode. Uh, you will truly look at the thing that, at the, like there might be some mistakes in it. I think that can apl be applied to other um, tasks in life. So, uh, I used to do that when uh, counting money as I was paid in cash once when I was out working at a restaurant. Um, I didn't have a lot of, wasn't making a huge amount of cash, obviously, but just a server prep cook for a while, line cook, and um, but, you know, of course, to, um, you have to prepare it before you deposit it at a bank, organize it, count the money, you know, um, and uh, I tried to, I tried to avoid uh, the, the temptation to just have the, I want to get through this as fast as fucking possible mindset, and I want to get this fucking thing done mindset, because then I'd probably make some mistakes, and uh, count the money wrong, right, so, okay, let's see here, um, was that clicking loud, by the way, I don't know, uh, so, what kind of income I'm choosing, chewing, sorry, um, okay, it's like totally upside down here, Five something or other. This is new because I didn't even. It's peppermint cobalt. That's pretty good. So, now uh, I'm going to tell you about the gear that I'm thinking about getting for making these videos. So, the most important piece of uh, gear that I'm thinking about getting is the Sony ZV1 camera. Okay, Sony CV1 can record 4K video, a very high definition video. Um, I think I could also sync it up with my with this microphone here. So, um, you know, like the, the the audio and the video would be combined, so I wouldn't have to sync them up later in editing. Um, yeah, so and uh, I guess that's extra work. And uh, not only that, but you have to try to get it perfect, perfectly synced up, or else it looks off. So and that's what I'm doing right now, though. So hopefully it turns out well. Um, you have to sync up the audio and the video later because they're separate right now. So another thing I was thinking about doing is uh, I was on Amazon looking for this big uh, Cuban link chain, a silver one, or maybe gold, but I prefer silver usually, um, glass obviously, not diamonds, I don't even know if you can get diamond chains really on Amazon, but it might have never, that doesn't matter, but I can't afford diamonds right now, so, you know what a Cuban link is, that's, not exactly how sure how to describe it, but it's a really thick chain, thick, usually it doesn't have a pendant on it, but I've seen some with pendants on them, at the end, on the end of them, um, or I guess in the middle, whatever you call it, but, um, yeah, those look pretty cool, but then I thought to myself, hey, Matthew, didn't you say in the last video that you want to make the videos less distracting, and wouldn't the Cuban Link chain, chain be distracting because it's so shiny, so I guess I'm not going to do that. update. Um, still doing a lot of walking outside. Actually, let me check that right, make sure I didn't miss anything. So annoying when I do that. Um, yeah, I think I got it along. Okay. Doing a lot of walking outside.
outside still. That's nice. I like doing that. Good exercise. Thinking about things. And, um, yeah, it's cool. Um, I still haven't drank for like three months or something. I'm not sure. That's good. Um, um, so let's see here. Uh, I have to put off my uh, plan for weight loss. Um, one reason besides procrastinating is this new medication I'm on, Risperidone. It's an antipsychotic, and uh, one of the uh, side effects of the medication is that you can gain weight. Um, I have to check with uh, psychi my psychiatrist and uh, or my pharmacist, whoever, um, because if it's just about that increases your appetite, if that's the reason why you gain weight, then I could be able to work around that by eating less and exercising more. Like, I don't know why, what causes the weight gain when you have taken, but if it's slowing down your metabolism or something like that, yeah, it might be more difficult, so we'll have to see about that, you know? I don't really feel that I'm totally at fault here. I've been procrastinating about it. Don't get me wrong, I'm putting it off, but. Vaccine soon. That's good. So, um, um, another um, meeting with the psychologist, oh, sorry, psychiatrist scheduled soon. A uh, job interview is scheduled. Um, that's good. Same job as before. Um, waking up at 4 a.m. now. I find that uh, at night I just get bored after I eat dinner and wash the dishes. Um, and I'm just watch some YouTube videos and I'm just like, you know, the good videos, but I'm just like, man, I would just love to be uh, in bed, very tired, knowing that I'll get a restful sleep soon, knowing that I'll wake up in the morning, well rested, well rested, you know. Um, uh, I gotta clarify something about, the, I was talking about shadow banning, and did you ever do that thing where like, you leave out the most important part of an explanation, like that's the only part you leave out, it's the important part. I don't know, I was just explaining what, about shadow banning in the last video, but that's so I'll try to clarify a little bit. Um, I guess I left something important out. It's, you know, if you get shadow banned, like by Facebook or something like that, or some social media platform, it's like you're getting, you're getting banned, but they don't tell you that they're banning you. And uh, I think you can still use the website. You can still use the platform, but they're kind of preventing you from getting views or getting as many views. So that's kind of what I left out, that they're kind of like banning you without telling you that they're banning you kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's how it works. Um, yeah, this, this is um, kind of great. Um, okay, let's have some pictures up on social media. Some pictures of myself. I don't know. This might sound silly, but uh, I didn't realize that that. Well, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't really know that uh, the, 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 my camera was editing my or changing my pictures. It was making me look more attractive, more handsome. You know, I had like this setting on my phone, this beauty setting, right? It was making my jaw look more narrow and stuff like that. And I guess that was supposed to make myself look better. And I think it did. Um, honestly, like quite a while ago, I think my phone did, there was a pop-up and it said something like, hey, um, you know, we can, do you want this beauty setting, blah, blah, blah. And I just quickly clicked yes. I didn't really look too much into it. I was like, oh, you make me look better. Okay, good, cool, whatever. I think automatically, when I was taking the pictures, this beauty setting was on to make my jaw look a bit narrower and stuff. I don't know. So, I had been uploading those photos. I kind of forgot about that, though, and I can I had been uploading uh, pictures that I had my jaw narrowed by the, my phone, by this editing thing on my phone automatically. And I just been uploading those photos, not really realizing that those edits have been made. So, they kind of, like, don't exactly... They're not super realistic. I mean, they're gonna make me look more handsome than I am. So I 
I'd been doing that. So I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. So now I just turned the beauty setting off, at least for the pictures. I don't know if it's coming out in this video. My jaw certainly doesn't look very narrow here. I look pretty chubby, but I think, but yeah. So um, sorry about being misleading. If uh, if I was being misleading, I don't know. But I don't know. It seems silly, but I just don't want to like. You hear a lot about people editing photos of themselves and not telling people about it, blah, blah, blah. And, um, kind of, yeah. And that could be bad because people could sort of, like, think, well, ah, well, this is going to sound pretty narcissistic, but, like, let's say it's a super hot girl who's doing this, right? And she's, like, editing photos of herself to make herself look better, but not telling people that she's doing that. Maybe a some people would see that as a bad thing. Okay. So that's a kind of unrealistic beauty standards kind of thing. Okay, enough of that. Look. So, on my last video, I said that I'm on this antipsychotic mad, uh, medication. Not master ma medication. <laughs> Respiridone. Um, I think I, I, take, I do take that in tablet form. Um, it's my first time taking it. I started taking that about eight days ago. Um, I'm, I'm off the weaning on phase. Do people say weaning on? Um, I was taking a small dose of the medication uh, so that my body could prepare for a uh, bigger dose. I was taking uh, 0.5 milligram per day. Uh, now I'm taking one milligram per day. Um, the side effects that I'm experiencing uh, is that I'm irritable at times. Okay, um, I hope uh, it's not, I hope it's just from the medication. Um, sometimes I feel nauseous, especially uh, in the morning. The morning was especially difficult for me. Um, good stuff um, is that um, about the medication is that I sometimes feel high, honestly. Um, I had this pleasurable sensation in my legs. Not all the time, but sometimes. Hard for me to describe. I can feel happy. Um, I feel quite content. I felt the other day I was walking to the park, or I think it was yesterday. And, uh, it was yesterday, yeah. And um, I, I felt quite content and peaceful when walking to the park. And this is going to be a long video. Um, that's okay. Um, I realize now that before. Uh, taking the medication, basically, uh, for all my life, I've been experiencing uh, intense emotions very often. Okay, I would uh, call them uh, mood swings, but I could be mistaken about that. I'm not sure if you technically call them mood swings or not. Okay, so at the time before I was on the meds, I uh, I didn't consider myself to have uh, mood swings. Because I uh, had felt that I had been wronged before. So I felt uh, like people had mistreated me in the past. And so I thought because they had, people had mistreated me, um, I had every right to be angry. That's the way I thought. Uh, so I thought it wasn't a mood swing. Uh, I thought it was like a perfectly uh, rational reaction. As anyone would react that way if they had been wronged. Or so I thought. And I also believed that... Um, most people had, had, had uh, not been uh, mistreated in the past, uh, so they wouldn't experience anger like I did. Okay. So I used to get angry many times during the day, but I usually kept it to myself. Um, it was mostly internal. Now I look back and I realize that it was probably just mood swings. Uh, they came from my uh, poor mental health. Um, I, yeah, so I used to get, again, I used to get angry many times during the day, and uh, also uh, often feel anxious. So, since being on the meds, I feel better able to control my emotions. I feel bad in the morning sometimes. Um, you know, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking about uh, being nauseous, uh, but uh, then my mood and my, I just feel bad mentally sometimes in the morning, and then, but I feel better later in the day. Like, um, 
Yeah, like uh, mine's not, but uh, this morning I kind of felt nauseous. I just thought it might be another side effect. I felt nauseous in the morning. Not bad, so not so bad mentally. But um, as far as the feeling bad mentally, um, I either have to find a way to stop it from happening, like a m medication I can take forever, or just keep reminding myself, I guess, that it's just a state. It's hard to recognize at the time, it's just a, st a, a state of mind. You know, and um, I watched a YouTube, but yeah, I'll be right. I watched a YouTube video uh, that inspired me a lot about this situation, weathering the storm. Uh, the video uh, is called Jay Cutler, The Greatest Comeback. It's by uh, Raiden, Raiden Motivation. Um, Jay Cutler uh, was a professional bodybuilder. Still around it to this day, but he's retired. Um, but um, the part of the video I'm actually talking about though here is that uh, it was not a quote from uh, Cutler. It's a quote from a guy in the video. Uh, it's just uh, the audio from the guy. You can't see the guy in the video. But he says, um, it's a choice to never give up. I felt that. Yeah, that's how I look at life now. Um, I'm not sure who the guy is who said it. Um, I have been having some olfactory hallucinations. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, that's when you smell things that aren't there. Um, recently, sometimes, I've been smelling a horse for no reason. No horses around, no cowboys around, cowgirls around. It's weird. It doesn't happen often, but just sometimes. I've had uh, some other hallucinations, but I won't get into them. Uh, but they're not that serious, I think. It's alright. Um, I'm on the meds. Wow, a new outlook on life. So now I'm going to talk about what I should do uh, in my future. Okay, so. I had thought about going back to China to teach English. I had uh, taught English in China to children for about two years. You probably might be thinking, like, taught English to kids, like, you're a crazy guy. No, it's okay. And um, I realized uh, that maybe now, because uh, maybe I, I shouldn't now go back to China, uh, because I only uh, started. Uh, started getting treated for my mental health. China, that would be a good decision to save money, but it's easy to save money there. But, um, it seems like my, uh, me, it seems to me, sorry, sorry like, uh, the psychiatrist that I'm working with will understand me better with, uh, every session we do together. The more he understands me, uh, the better he'll be able to help me, I suppose. Um, although I don't, um, I don't know much about the way that psychiatrists help people. Um, I have thought about, uh, taking uh, more school in Canada to get my career going. Okay. Get a good career. Um, but then I thought about this quote that says something like, if you're in a hole, stop digging. I'm not sure who said that quote. Um, I don't want to be impulsive and get in, go into more debt from school only to find out that I made a poor decision uh, on which school program to go into because I couldn't get a job in my field. I have uh, considered taking a very short program school, like half a year, in a community college program, so a program like welding to quickly get a job that is in demand and pays fairly well, but even that I think is too risky, I think. Um, I think the path is clear now. I need to find a job here in Canada. Um, I uh, do have an interview soon for a good job. Um, if I don't get that job, I will need to find any uh, job in Canada. Um, I would then hopefully start with a full-time job, then um, find a part-time job to add to that. I would have to uh, become better at time management as well, as I'd want to keep making these videos as well. Um, I may choose to go back to school in the future, and I may 
choose to try to get a job with a decent salary and benefits in the future. But that will just have to wait. You know, I once heard someone uh, say that if someone tells you that they don't care about what other people think of them, that's bullshit. I think that person is um, probably right about that. Um, but I feel that I care much less about what people think about me now when it comes to finding a career. And I think other people uh, can be in the situation where they care less about or don't care too much about what other people think about them. But I think it's, it's always uh, something that's in your mind, at least somewhat. So, yeah, if I get a minimum wage job, um, I won't feel bad about being a 32-year-old guy who's working a minimum wage job. Okay. Not long ago, I felt very stressed about being in my 30s and not ha having what uh, many guys who would uh, be considered to be successful in our society um, had the wife, the kids, the house, the good job. Um, I don't really care about that anymore. For the most part, I care about getting out of debt. I care about uh, not having to worry about money. I care about my mental health. Okay, I want that taken care of before I worry about finding a girlfriend or going back to school. I don't need the stress um, that can come from dating when you're trying to find a partner. Um, I don't need the rejection. I've had um, success in dating in the past, but before I would find a girlfriend or a girl who would want to have a sexual relationship, I know that I would probably get rejected sometimes. I don't need uh, the pain of rejection when I am at the beginning stages of improving my mental health. Now I realize that it might not be a possibility for me um, anymore. Okay, what am I saying here? <laughs> okay, I'm talking about uh, children here. Um, ha me having children. Uh, okay, yeah, so uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, I may not uh, um, have the option of being able to have children in the future. I'm, I'm not saying that uh, I can't impregnate a woman, but there's nothing wrong with that if you can't do that. Um, for all I know, I can have children, but my poor mental health uh, gets in the way. Okay. My mental health. My mental health had been curb stomped. Okay, like my mental health was bad. Uh, how bad, you ask? Um, like the day you propose to your girlfriend of six years, he starts a uh, fight with you uh, because you won't eat her ass, uh, and then she tells you that your brother stuck his tongue up there. So why can't you? that bad okay or like maybe when a cis white male wearing a mega hat hopping out of his Hummer H2 for a job interview at CNN realizes that the interviewers are lost for words as he had been accidentally dragging a feministy looking trans woman of color in a wheelchair down the street for four blocks that bad and the woman in the wheelchair wants to sue Understandable. Good for her. And I just got cancelled for 387 years for that joke. I'll be cancelled in the afterlife too. If I'm reincarnated as a reincarnated as a beaver, I'll be cancelled there too. I won't be allowed to uh, in the uh, beaver dams. I won't have anywhere to sleep and I'll have to build my own dam. I'm just joking. Uh, but the 
dumb joke in the trans joke. Look, for real though, um, not long ago I was driving and I started to daydream while driving. I didn't mean to do this. Okay, I noticed that for maybe a second. Um, could have been less than a second. Um, I was not paying attention basically while driving. Um, this did not happen in the past. So I was kind of like daydreaming. I didn't mean to be daydreaming. I just found myself daydreaming. So I don't know. Maybe I won't be able to drive in the future. Um, it's a bit of a problem for women, to be honest. Um, they usually want a guy with a car who does drive. Um, a guy who can drive the kids around. Uh, a guy who can pick uh, her up in a car and take her on a date, etc. Um, but now, in a way, I do feel that a weight has been lifted on my shoulders. I feel much stress less stressed out. Um, I don't have to worry about impressing people or achieving all kinds of crazy goals. And there's nothing wrong with having, wanting those, or having those kinds of goals. But I'm just saying, and I have goals for now. are modest, my goals. Okay. Thanks for watching.